Welcome to the Joy of Music. My name is Diane Bish and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical visit to Monaco, a small but famous principality bordered by France and the Mediterranean Sea. Monaco is one of the most famous tourist destinations in the world. Join us as we bring you music from the great cathedral of Monaco with my special guests, Les Petits Chanteurs of Monaco. Thank you for joining us. Completely surrounded by France, the Principality of Monaco is a sovereign state of less than 200 hectares and with fewer than 25,000 inhabitants. Of these, only about 4,000 are genuine Monegasques, a population who preserve their own language, Monegasco, a dialect of French. The Principality comprises three separate towns, the most famous being Monaco itself, and Monte Carlo with its marina and exclusive hotels, shops, and restaurants. The parks and gardens of Monaco are beautiful. The seafront and views outstanding. to welcome today to the joy of music Les Petits Chanteurs de Monaco or the Little Singers of Monaco. 
This boy choir of the Monaco Cathedral has a history dating back to the 18th century when a vocal group of children's voices was started under the reign of Prince Antoine I. Since that time, the choir has become famous throughout Europe, giving an average of 30 to 40 concerts a year. We welcome Les Petits Chanteurs de Monaco to the joy of music as they perform for us in the Monaco Cathedral. On the roof of the cathedral, four statues are found, representing each of the four gospel writers. The bull symbolizes Matthew, the lion, Mark, the angel, Luke, and the eagle, John. Also of interest in the cathedral are the stained glass windows. Those of the central nave feature women of the Old Testament, while the windows of the lateral nave portray scenes from the life of Jesus and Mary.
one of the beautiful rose gardens of Monaco, we find a statue of Princess Grace and some beautiful words that she has written about roses. What is it that makes a rose seem far more than a flower? Perhaps it is the mystery it has gathered through the ages. Perhaps it is the joy that it continues to give. The grand organ of the Cathedral of Monaco is heard throughout the year in both service and concert. A more modern organ than many of the French cathedrals, it was constructed in 1975 by Jean-Louis Boisseau of Poitiers. It consists of 62 stops, four divisions, and four manuals. The sound is thrilling in the large and reverberant church.
It was our pleasure to speak with the director of Les Petits Chanteurs, Pierre Dubois, about the history and duties of this special boy choir. The cathedral choir, the same like the cathedral. The cathedral was built in 1887 and the choir in just one year after. So mm -hmm. it's a long, very old choir mm -hmm. of the with cathedral, a very, yes. a very long history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I understand that you have just made a tour of the United States and you're going to be going back. Mm -hmm. So many tours in the United States since 25 years, about last July we were once again in the United States. And uh, now we are departing in two weeks for Argentina and we shall be again in the United States next year. I know that we will look forward to having you there and you. Uh, hearing the wonderful singers that have such a rich voice. Mm. Thank you. They are really wonderful. What is their schedule? Do they practice every day? No, uh, three weeks, uh, three, pardon me, th three rehearsals a week, uh -huh. plus some um, uh, seminaries in the mountains near Monaco where we can make about four rehearsals a day. It's mm -hmm. different. Mm. Well, it's a very beautiful cathedral and the Petit Chanteurs are really wonderful and we welcome all of you to the Joy Music today and we thank you very much. Thank you to you. Thank you very much. The palace of the Grimaldi family, who have ruled the principality since the 14th century, is both ornate and imposing. Close by are beautiful gardens with thousands of varieties of cacti and other succulents, with a breathtaking view across to Monte Carlo.
day at noon, the ceremony of the changing of the guard is performed by the section of the Carabinier responsible for guarding the prince's palace. It takes place on the palace square using a ceremony involving a great deal of marching and countermarching, which evokes the admiration of a large number of tourists. The bells of the Cathedral of Monaco are of special significance. Their mission is to call people to the prayers of the church or to accompany worship with their joyful or sorrowful ringing. Since the 8th century, bells are traditionally blessed and given a name. The bells are described in a special prayer from the cathedral. Lord, we ask of you that on hearing the bells, that your faithful may hasten joyfully to your church and that they may persevere in the teaching of your apostles with brotherly communion, the breaking of bread and prayer, so that they may be of one heart and soul for the praise of your glory. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music, as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit to Monaco, with music from the Monaco Cathedral, with my special guests, Les Petits Chanteurs, with their conductor, Pierre Dubois. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Diane Bish and the Joy of Music wish to thank Air France for their support in making this program possible.